uh, on warming up the right way. So if you've been sitting down all day and you've just gone to the gym and you jump on the cross trainer, it's going to be a really good way to loosen up um, for five minutes or so. But if you're going into the gym to beat a, an RM or beat last week's weight, then it's not going to be the best way to warm up. Warming up on a cross trainer or a treadmill or a bike uh, doesn't isn't exactly compatible with uh, lifting in the gym. So we've got to we've got to warm up a different kind of way. I've added a page to our website with a couple of resources you can use to warm up the right way. I'll put that in the comments feed of this live video so you can use it as reference and go back to to it whenever you need. But use this video as well because this is me explaining it to you um, as if you're just sitting sitting there in front of me. Uh, doing a session. So in terms of uh, using the MP warm-up, for example, if you were going to the gym to lift 30 kilos uh, as, as, your, as your weight for the day, then or on your first exercise, what you'd want to do is you'd want to warm up using the MP protocol. So 20% is the first set. That's your first warm-up set. So 20% of 30 kilos is 6 kilos. Right, so you do six kilos for 12 reps. Then you'll do a set of 10 with 40% of that 30 kilos. So 40 percent of that uh, that total weight, that 30 kilos, is 12 kilos. So you do 12 kilos for 10 reps, followed by 60% for six reps. Okay, so 60% of the 30 kilos is 18 kilos. So you do 18 kilos for six reps. Then you do 24 kilos, which is again. Uh, 80%, you do that for three reps, and then you'll do the 30 kilos for one rep. So the reason we do this is to uh, warm the muscle groups uh, up, get the neurological pathways happening, and, and make sure the muscles we're going to be using know exactly what we're going to be doing. And then after that fifth warm-up set, you go to your working set. Okay, and that's where you add, uh, even if it's you add half a kilo or one kilo a week, uh, or, or you add an extra rep, what you're aiming to do is to make strive for constant progression because that in turn translates into building muscle mass and then the body shape changes that you want from your training. Uh, so if you've got your program in front of you, you'll see that each week you have a, a set RM you're, uh, you're meant to um, achieve. Okay, so if that's that, that RM is 10 to 12, what that essentially means is that in that set, you need to, to be able to lift a weight that you can lift for 10 reps, but no more than 12. So you need to choose your weight between those, those reps. And each week that, that uh, you, you do the program, every four weeks or so, that RM will change slightly. It will go down to allow for uh, more strength gain over time. So, hey, Rachel, um, if you're watching this at a later date, make sure you ask me any questions in the comment section below of this video. I'm about to post, uh, and I hope this video has cleared up your your questions on the MP warm up and how to warm up the right way when lifting weights. So, you guys, 